I would feel terrible not mentioning it. I know it's probably not something that he wants talked about a bunch, but Farragut head coach Eddie Courtney has prostate cancer. Just talk about Eddie Courtney in general, and, and obviously we all are praying for him and wishing him and his family and their program the best. He's going to show his kids how to, how to face adversity. As soon as he even feels up to getting out of the house and, and getting back on the football field, he's going to do that. I feel pretty good. I really do. It's a good night, comfortable night, so... I've gotten much stronger this week, and so I'm glad to be on the sideline tonight. I just gotta gotta be careful, make sure I don't get run over, and make sure I don't uh, uh, do anything stupid tonight. But uh, I'm glad to be back. We all will write a book of our own life. Every year, is a, every year is a chapter. Every day in that month is a paragraph. And when you come back and look at your book, what you wrote down, what are you gonna say in there about tonight? Region 1 6A showdown between undefeateds in region play. Farragut and Dobbins been at the Admirals 4 and 2 overall. 2 and 0 oh in region play. DB 3 and 0 oh in the region. 5 and 0 oh on the year. DB, the number that jumps out at you, they're, they're giving up only 3.4 points per game, uh, 1.6 yards per rush, and just 36 yards rushing per game. Everything y'all got tonight, come on. off and Tesner threw a hole behind his center scores from three yards out incomplete and so Farragut with a three and out series here they're gonna throw deep they got a man wide open it's Marshall at the 12 and he'll walk into the end zone so Dobbins Bennett jumps out to a 14 to nothing lead here at Bill Claybo Field 625 to play in our opening quarter so this is huge if the Admirals could hold them right where they are. From the four-yard line, it's going to be Whitson keeping it, rolling right. He looks like he wants to throw, now puts his head down, dives for the end zone. Did he get there? He did. So here's fourth down. Farragut going for it. They are on the season, converting 31%. Moore back to pass, looks near side, one-handed catch by Wallace, first down. The snap looks over the middle, got a man wide open, and it'll be Matt White on the touchdown. Trying to get something going here before halftime, 129 to play until halftime. Over the middle, Matt White makes the catch. From the eight yard line, 15.3 seconds to play. Farragut trailing 28 to seven. Moore looks left, throws, Collins. Did he come up with it? Mason Collins with the touchdown reception for eight yards. All day, baby. All day, baby. All day, 20. Way to be Overcome some bad drives to start. Okay. Good job throwing the ball, executing right there in the second quarter, getting us back in. Let's go down to score, make it 28 21, and we're back in, right? Let's go win the second half, win the ball game, man. Here we go. Break it down, Foodie. Let's go. Break it down. All right, let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Moore takes the snap, being pressured, got away from the first man, and moves to where perhaps there's a decision to make. Good job. Let's go. Get back. Go. Get up. Go. So it's fourth down. From the 46, Moore looking left, incomplete, nobody home. And they've got Armitage in the ball game. He runs it right, and there's a huge hole, and he's sprinting to the end zone. And Dobbins been at the draw's first blood in the second half. The slot 
Zach Beasley, the inside receiver, looking back for Quorum, going again. deep again. And the Admirals trail 35-21 with 3.32 to play in our third quarter. Hey, good job, Trace. Good, good job, way to win. Guys. Good, good job, job, guys. Let's go, Lord. Eyes up. Great effort, and they say incomplete. Isn't that the example? Absolutely. Eli Purcell plays 100 miles an hour. Lock in, Moody, lock in, let's go. Come on, D. So there's third down once again. Dobbins been converted a moment ago on third and long. This is third and short. They hand it off to Armitage coming near sideline, and Purcell knocked the ball out. Two yard gain, first down. Tesner, right side, and he's got a big hole, and he's going to take it for the second time, untouched into the end zone, just weaving his way behind blocks. Back to pass is Moore, throws. He's got a man wide open. It'll be caught by Mason Collins at the 20, got away from a man. He's to the 10, sidesteps a man at the 6, and takes it into the end zone. Up the middle, that's going to be, I believe, Armitage. It's another foot race down the near sideline. Change that, that's Tesner, but he's loose at the five, and I believe he's going to take it all the way to the house. Hey guys, congratulations! Of course, Farragut wanted to win in Eddie's first game back to the sideline, but they didn't quit, and they have a lot to play for for the rest of the season. And if there's anybody in the Farragut program that's not going to allow those Farragut kids to give up, it's Eddie Courtney. Get your heads up. Get your heads up. That's a tough one. Look at me. That's a tough one. That doesn't define us. We got three more weeks, all region games. If you sit around and you think about this one right here, we won't do what we gotta do next week.